uh, basically if you want to raise uh, birds uh, for your own meat and eggs it is actually doable and you should be able to get into it without any fears uh, what uh, you have been basically told that uh, it's, it's a pain to raise chickens we are here to tell you guys that uh, actually that is not true uh, what we have gone through uh, raising this chicken is not something that we can say is super complicated uh, this is something that is affordable because our goal here guys is to be able to raise our chicks at the cheapest cost so that is our goal uh, raise chickens but at the minimal cost uh, so that uh, it doesn't really make sense for you to to go and buy either an egg or to go and buy uh, the chicken uh, or the, the the meat uh, from the grocery stores uh, today is exactly six weeks uh, since we started raising these chicks if you've been following the series we started with about nine chicks and we were just trying out things and we made a promise that if we got to day five we would acquire more 30 chicks to start having some serious brooding uh, basically this was a uh, kind of our learning point and getting to know uh, what exactly it takes uh, for one to be able to brood uh, chicks uh, what we have actually discovered is that guys uh, the process is not that hard uh, you don't really need um, to know a lot uh, for you to be able to uh, raise uh, chicks uh, right away from when they are just a day old uh, this is kind of an update and uh, more or less uh, encouraging people that if you want to have a self-sufficient uh, homestead uh, basically if you want to raise uh, birds uh, for your own meat and eggs it is actually doable uh, what uh, you have been basically told that uh, it's, it's a pain to raise chickens we are here to tell you guys that uh, actually that is not true. Of course, we have had a few challenges. Uh, us being first timers, we have had a few challenges, but we were able to easily resolve those challenges and we were able to uh, to move on with raising these chicks. And as you can see, uh, we still have quite a good number of chicks uh, here with us. So if we have been able to get uh, this far, guys, uh, this should tell you that uh, you can actually do it. Uh, you shouldn't really be scared by the work that you need to put in uh, to raise chickens. Uh, this is uh, six weeks. Uh, this is how your six weeks uh, chicken is going to look like. Maybe let me just uh, catch one here and I bring it uh, up close and uh, we have a look at it. So guys, uh, this is uh, how your chicken is going to look at six weeks. It's actually a good size. Uh, if this was uh, these meat birds like uh, the broilers, uh, this would be ready to go to your freezer. But for us, we actually do not raise uh, those uh, broilers uh, because we just don't feel the taste for the meat uh, for the birds that have been raised for the shortest time. Uh, so we chose to go for these uh, uh, these are croilers, these are dual purpose uh, birds, uh, they can give you eggs, but also they can give you meat. So that is the choice uh, that we went for. And guys, uh, we have uh, been on an amazing journey trying to raise these chicks. And uh, so far so good, uh, we can't really wait uh, to see that uh, our first egg uh, drops. Uh, we are actually going to wait until we get our first egg. Uh, we will just wait on that. Uh, we wouldn't uh, process them for meat until we get our first egg because the whole thing is that we want to see how long it takes for you to raise uh, chickens until they are laying age when you have not actually uh, used the industry standards of raising chicken and feeding uh, industry-based feed. Uh, what we are feeding is uh, actually maize, uh, then soya, and cotton seed cake. Uh, if you don't have cotton seed cake, you can use sunflower seed cake. That will also do you well. So that is what we are feeding. And it is not that intense or expensive feed. Uh, this is something that is affordable because our goal here, guys, is to be able to raise our chicks at the cheapest cost. Uh, so that uh, it doesn't really make sense for you to, to go and buy either an egg or to go and buy uh, the chicken. Otherwise, if you're going to be raising your own meat and eggs and uh, your cost of raising them is uh, basically higher than that of just walking into a store 
and uh, and buying them it really doesn't uh, make any sense of course the other thing that you can be able to do uh, at this point is that you are going to ensure that uh, you're relying uh, less on antibiotics actually for us uh, we basically do not give antibiotics to these birds uh, the feeds we have included charcoal in the feeds uh, to kind of help us with uh, costiosis uh, because that is going to be like the major major uh, problem if you're going to be raising chicken so if you can be able to tackle that early enough uh, then you are you are able to avoid uh, relying heavily on antibiotics then uh, the other thing is that guys if you're going to be in charge of what you eat then please ensure that what you're giving yourself at least you are fair enough to give yourself proper meat and eggs uh, what this industry uh, business guys are doing is that basically they are medicating uh, the chickens and uh, on a daily to ensure that they actually survive so you end up uh, eating uh, meat uh, that is not fit and uh, it's not healthy so for us that's why we have said let's take uh, things into our hands and raise our own uh, meat and also get our own eggs uh, so that we ensure that whatever we're eating is quality food now the other thing is that even if you're going to be raising these chickens and uh, maybe you cannot be able to consume all you are able to sell some and uh, remember if you're having something organic it's going to demand quite a good price so if you have maybe your flock and you are able to sell maybe about 20 birds uh, it means you can literally cover your cost of um, feeding these chicks up to that point and basically you will be getting um, uh, free meat so basically guys uh, this is how your chicken is going to look uh, at six weeks of course i have uh, this size uh, this size which you're seeing here uh, you see how how big this is uh, this kind of uh, size is seven weeks old uh, it's basically one week older than uh, these other chicks that is part of the seven uh, chicks that we started with uh, then uh, of course also these black ones you can see that they are quite uh, different than uh, the rest i had uh, this turkey here and uh, this turkey was was really beaten up by uh, my rest of the turkeys so i thought that uh, why not uh, join, uh, put it here so that i can uh, actually have it live here with the chickens and uh, it's now like two days and I can see uh, that actually it is not fighting the chickens and the chickens are also not afraid of it. So they are kind of uh, living uh, in harmony here. And this is also something that I am kind of uh, checking because it's also a pain guys to be able to integrate uh, the turkeys into chicken. So this is also some kind of uh, learning point uh, for me here on the homestead. I want to see whether it is actually possible to raise uh, young turkeys and uh, young chicken together because that is going also to be important uh, to kind of maximize on the space. Yeah, but I see that uh, so far there is really uh, nothing worrying uh, because I can see that uh, you see the chicken and uh, this turkey here sharing the same feed and uh, they quite uh, be doing it uh, without fighting. So that is going to be very important uh, for me to draw lessons from. Maybe this is something that can be of help uh, to anyone out there who probably is brooding uh, young turkeys and young chicks uh, at the same point. So uh, this is something that uh, you could utilize because uh, you see that actually this uh, turkey is really bigger than the chickens and even older because that turkey is about uh, three months old. Uh, yet these chicks are just uh, uh, six weeks, majority of them are just six weeks except uh, the other a few that we just started with. So guys, if you've watched the video this far, please consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so that the next time we upload a video, you are notified to come and watch. Otherwise guys, uh, thanks for watching.